Hi Scorpios! Welcome to my channel! Can't believe we made it to October. Actually, I think September was a pretty chill month compared to summer. So now we're in October and October is super important month. So if you guys been resting in September, it's good for you. Because October is just a month that's going to be life transforming for so many of us. Um, as you know, Venus retrograde is starting in your sign, Scorpio. So it's going to start in your sign. It's going to make a very interesting aspect to Uranus. Then it's going to retrograde back into Libra. So I think that for all of us, relationships and just deep connection with other people will be transformed in a very profound way. And you, Scorpio, you guys could really change your life this month. But don't worry, Jupiter is still in Scorpio. So you still have this divine support. And whatever is happening, even if there is some ending, even if you choose to cut off, you know, somebody from your life, um, it's going to be for your ultimate highest good and something good will immediately appear in your life. It's going to be positive. Like, I know it. I am a Scorpio rising. So, guys, I care <laughs> a lot about this retrograde and about Scorpio sign in general. So, I think we should be fine. Like, let's keep each other in our thoughts. <laughs> And hopefully everything, and hopefully everything will work. Out. Everything always works out for the best. And I think, honestly, with this retrograde, if something was not where it's supposed to be, I feel like with this Venus retrograde energy, chances are high that uh, the universe will push things to where they need to be. So anyway, guys, let's get started with the Terra reading for the month of October. So let's get started, guys. So as always, I'm using my Legacy of the Divine Tarot. We'll see, I actually got some new cards. We'll try them out. These are Love Tarot readings and uh, um, Twin Flames also coming up in a few days. So let's see guys, for Scorpio, super important month. First card, Page of Wands, okay. Second card, King of Wands. Let me take one more card and I'm gonna start interpreting third card eight of swords so i sense that some of you've been dealing with a person it could be leo or a fire sign where you know things were in a curious position things were interesting but also things were stuck someone was stuck here maybe if the two of you were in some kind of connection things weren't moving where they need to move like it's been it, an energy of this like where you know you're like in this position where you are somewhere but you are not really in a place where you need to be almost like because here is the page it's almost like this page is there but they're not acting in their fullest potential in their fullest light so i feel like this if this person has been kind of a mature around you and not acting you know the way you wish they acted they're growing into this king so if it's a, you're a woman, Scorpio woman watching this, you've been dealing with a fire sign who's been more mature. I feel like they've grown up. So if you're still in this position, I really think that uh, through Scorpio retrograde, you will be able to cut off all of these limitations, all of these blockages that are around you and break free. Okay, so let's see what else for my Scorpios. Scorpios. We have here Ten of Swords. Don't get scared, guys. It's not a negative card. We have Death. We have Knight of Pentacles. And let's take one last card. Actually, I took two. We have Eight of Wands and the Fool. Okay. I am a Scorpio as well, like I said before. So <laughs> this prediction, you know, is special for me as well. So what I sense, guys, is that for some of you who's been in this Eight of Swords energy where you couldn't get out of the situation, where you know you should have been out of the situation like years before, months before, I don't know, whatever time before, it's a general reading. Finally, like with this Venus retrograde, there is this final bullet or whatever, you know, that hits, what do you call it, hits the fan, whatever, and you're releasing something. Next card is death. So I feel like if there was a relationship maybe in your life that wasn't letting you to express your full potential to express who you truly are in this world and every scorpio i mean every sign has their potential but scorpio is just this potential which is like could go crazy scorpio could either you know go very low or go very high scorpio in its 
elevated state is eagle it could go even go to phoenix energy scorpio in a slower state we say is like a scorpion or a snake sometimes not like these animals are negative but you know how it goes from the ground to way you know transcending even uh the physical phoenix transcends the physical is death and rebirth our while we are still in this human experiences we are still limited by concept of time space motion and death but once we've transcended this you know physical limitation there is no more time space and motion and there is also no death and this is what phoenix is it's death and rebirth so here is like there is this ending and this ending basically is extremely as much as i know it's like cards look dark and scary this ending will be the reason why you know everything that wasn't aligned like if you were not in the flow and you knew something is supposed to start in your life it could be like not even love related it could be career related it could be that you just feel like you know something's holding you back you can put your hand around you know it's like what is it what have i done what have i done wrong whatever it is there will be this important ending it's maybe scary at first for some of you, but in the end it will be so positive because you ultimately will step into your true potential and your true destiny. And next cards here I have is Knight of Pentacles. So you will ground yourself first. There will be maybe important friend even. Maybe even the new love interest you start in your relationship with. You could share quite a few friends with this person or also maybe you will form a new friendship this month that will be very important. So this friendship actually pay attention to whenever Sun and Mercury are transiting an important placement in your life, whether it's Ascendant Moon, uh, Ascendant Moon, even Mercury, whatever. Pay attention when Sun conjunct, Sun is conjunct Mercury, who you meet during this uh, time. So you could be meeting, and I know I get into technicalities, it's just because like I know not everyone uh, knows astrology very well, so I'll translate it to more simple language. Whatever it is, it could be just a person very stable very grounded person who is new friend who will help you in some way they will be very simple person they will not be like you will meet almost like a sense and uh, you click immediately and um, you are able to share with them your story basically the way it is and they are like okay they understand in you and they they can give you advice they can give you even some help and i think also this person will somehow be related to this new love that's um, gonna blossom in your life and here we have also very two positive cards the fool and eight of wands so i want a sense guys it's exciting because i actually am planning to travel in october hopefully in the end of october so guys there will be this new beginning and it's gonna be crazy some people probably gonna say you are nuts but you're scorpio you don't care what other people say anyway right and uh, it will be like this new big beginning it could involve travel for some not necessarily not all of you will travel maybe some of you will just feel you're going places you haven't been before and it doesn't have to be geographic guys as you know it could be just you're starting new things and this will be so positive there will be fiery communication there will be something you will basically i know cancerian is the one in the shell but scorpio you don't really have like the shell as cancerian does but you will get out almost like of this darkness and you will start shining your light like never before it's almost like all of this jupiter and scorpio year that it's been going on and some of you guys i know like i read comments and some of you are like oh jupiter and scorpio didn't bring me anything i get it i also expected for myself a little more and in my case it was kind of like a double-edged sword because i had a lot of clients and a lot of friends who had significant scorpio placements and i remember before scorpio went to, before jupiter went into scorpio i was like oh you will get married you will you know predicting basically people their relationships and their marriages and i was like thinking to myself so many people will be getting married my era i can't believe it like you know what it came true like a lot of my friends got engaged people who were single for like five years got pregnant got engaged you know started serious relationship it came true for a lot of my friends and my clients it had it did not come true to myself so i didn't know honestly like if i should be happy for them not happy for myself it was like a challenging time for me okay as well but anyway point here is is that this jupiter in scorpio finally almost like will shine its last light on what needs to be revealed what needs to be you know illuminated and out of this darkness you will rise with new light in you Pfft, wow <laughs> it's uh it's pretty intense guys and i know the scorpios are intense okay my camera yeah but too <laughs> clarifier guys oh my god it's uh 
gonna be interesting month brace yourselves like get ready for the ride of your life basically yep <laughs> ace of wands so yes new beginning crazy like if it's a new affair you'll be starting oh there will be some passion there guys king of pentacles but i think this person also has either some kind of material um material things or they or together you will build something two of wands oh two of wands so traveling as well is indicated for a lot of you looking at expanding your horizons let's take one more card and we have here king of cups maybe for some of you it could be even two new love interests that you will be dealing with this month but also what i sense is that the person you will be connecting with will have energy of both stability and like they will be a creative person but also they will be very emotional person or maybe if they were a person who like was hiding their heart protecting their heart you will bring emotional side of them that's extremely positive guys now let's close the reading with a few more messages from different decks guys it's gonna be amazing i'm so excited like uh of course don't get over like excited uh, like not to get disappointed but a venus retrograde is gonna transform our lives one way or another it just depends of course on us how we deal with with what consciousness we approach everything if there is ending don't like i repeat just don't um don't try to how to say force things you have to really co-create with universe now as above so as below you know tap into your magician energy this month tap into trusting the universe tap into trusting the light that it will guide you to a place where you're meant to be like scorpio this month is a lot of indications that you can actually tap into your like higher self tap into your very powerful self this month but let's see okay we have here two cards ancestor of boundaries and shaman of birth so i feel like boundaries here is not necessarily even related to your like boundaries or anything i feel like you will just draw a line if let's say there was some unproductive unfulfilling relationship or relationship patterns in your life you will finally see what it is for, for exactly what it is you will draw a line and you will no longer basically accept it like it will be done you will cut something off second card shaman of birth so again ending a new beginning scorpio energy something will Get, something will end something old will get end and something new will begin let's see one card for what new will begin have here tribes so if you will be starting your relationship with someone maybe you will be sharing like um commu communal background like friend zone like not a friend zone but like fr <laughs> like friends community like maybe you two could belong to like let's say same type of collective or something like that will be very important there will be an element of uh, almost a tribe to <laughs> you know your relationship amazing one last card from the universe love in spite of it all so whatever is happening love is there just believe that you see it yet or not you will see it this month don't worry guys love is there love is uh, love is promised basically so i think it's a extremely positive reading i wish you guys all amazing months of october um twin flame readings will be posted in a bit and also guys uh yeah if you're new to my channel of course subscribe and oh yeah so and also if you participated in my contest results will be posted september 24 and uh we'll be doing more of those there will be uh, reader like winners every week and uh, i want to thank you all so much for support to this channel and uh, i'll see you next time bye guys